What's going on everybody on YouTube? Welcome back to FetchTube. We're here for another sneaker review and if you saw my last video you might have an idea of what sneaker we're about to get into today. Today this is a very special sneaker to me. I'm so glad I got it back in my collection. I used to have the last release that they had but because I love the shoe so much I just wore it all the time and just thrashed the hell out of it. So I ended up actually selling it for $100 to a mate of mine because he really wanted a pair but because I never wore them because they were so beat up I just said yes. There you go bro. 100 bucks, Easy transaction. But then I regret it ever since not having them in my collection. Now I've had different variations of the shoe except it's still not the same as having the original in hand. But we'll get more into all that soon and stop wasting time and then get into the shoe review. So if you haven't figured it out by now it is a Jordan 3 box. There you've got size 13 and the color code on this is black, fire, red, cement, gray. I'll take the top off. If you didn't see the unboxing I did for this I'll put a link right up here for you to click and go check it out so you see what else I ended up picking up and I also got another review coming out of the Adidas i5923 but we're not here to talk about that we're here to talk about Jordan so let's get into it and there we have it the Air Jordan Black Cement 3 now the thing that makes these different as to the last release that I used to have you know they did change up a little bit some of the material is a little bit different but the biggest thing that everyone was excited for this year was Nike Air on the back. Now of course we have not seen this on a Jordan 3 Black Cement since 2001 and if you do have a pair of those obviously after 17 years the sole will obviously start cracking on you from underneath. At least now Jordan brand has given us the Nike Air on the back again so you'll be able to re-up and cop your own pair. Now it almost was a bit of a struggle to get these. I tried to buy them on three or four different websites before I ended up getting through. One of them was because I got the time wrong. They said they were releasing them at midnight Australia Easter Daylight Savings Time but I never looked at that part. I just figured it'd be Australia Easter Standards Time and because I'm in Queensland that means Daylight Savings Midnight was our 11 o'clock so I lucked out on that. Um, try to get a pair from New Zealand at 5 a.m. before they the rest of the Australia stores released theirs. Lucked out there, tried uh, Kicks 101 in Melbourne locked out there but I was able to get these off nike.com so super happy I got these I'm so stoked to have them back into the collection now let's get into it now before I actually get into reviewing the black cement 3 I'll actually show you my first pair of Jordans I ever got they are before I started collecting Jordans I actually used to collect SBs I was uh, big into my skate shoe, wasn't big into my basketball shoes. I knew Jordans were a great shoe, but I just, not too sure, they just weren't for me. But it wasn't until I slowly started seeing different Jordans and I started to actually grow a love for them. These were actually my first ever pair of Jordans I ever bought. Not the best pair, obviously, but these are Air Jordan 1 Fat Lows in the Black Cement colorway. So you can see that my love for the Black Cement actually started from here. Well, it probably didn't start from here. It was the Supreme Dung Woes that uh, came out. We'll just put a photo of them right there. So you see what the Supreme Dunk Low looks like. And that's when I saw these, they were very similar. I knew that the Supreme Lows were so hard to get, so that's why I went and caught these. And that has eventually grown my love for these. I do have the Motorsport Blue Threes as well which are very identical to the black cement, just with swapping the red and the blacks out with a little bit of blue. Um, still have those, but you know, it definitely isn't the original. So we'll get into some of the materials that they used on this one right now. Now, as you can see, it does start with your gray sole. You have a white midsole here. You got a really nice uh, black tumble leather on the upper. You got your gray cement print on the, around the toe box and up along the heel tab. You have Nike Air and white on the back there with the black heel tabs. Um, I noticed as well on like a lot of the women's ones too, these heel tabs actually don't even bring back. They're just completely sewn into the shoe. So that is something that you will notice different if you are buying a grade school size as opposed to buying a men's size. That heel tab is a bit different. You've got your gray lining, red sole. You got your red jump man up on the tongue there. Gray tongue black laces. you notice too that the bottom half of the tongue and around the eyelets here is all a perforated leather. 
So that's pretty cool too. On the bottom, you've got, instead of having your Jumpman logo again, they have blisters with the Nike logo. And then you've got a gray, white and red on the sole. And for a shoe that came out in 1988, these are super dope. They have lasted the test of time. And hopefully they will keep releasing these year after year after year. Not every year, but every few years. Just for us who thrash our shoes and actually wear them, we can re-up on them again. I like wearing my Blacksmith 3s with a pair of raw blue denim jeans or some shorts. Sometimes I'll wear with a light blue distressed denim, but most of the time it's more of a raw denim. And of course, cuff the bottoms just so I don't get any denim bleed on these. But like I said, I'm so happy to have these back in my collection. Now I'll go ahead and show you what they look like on feet. So I collapse, I'm spilling these raps long as you feel them to the day that I drop. You'll never say that I'm not killing them. Cause when I am not, then I'ma stop pinning them. And I am not hip hop, and I'm just not Eminem. Subliminal thoughts when I'ma stop spinning them. Women are caught in webs, spin them in hawk, spin them, adrenaline shot to pill. Whoa. What you call an icon living? Start a record label, Miss Fish just did it. Whoa. Nylon, cover five minutes. Whoa, we up too hot in the business. Whoa. About to make a movie independent. Whoa. Need new trucks independent. Whoa. I need you to listen to the vision. Whoa. All your verses sound like dirty dishes. Whoa. I'm about to clean them in the kitchen. I was broke, but I'm living in the hills now. I was crazy, but this ice made me chill out. No 20s, I need blue on my bills. I'm not like Kylie Jenner. Everything I got is real now. When I'm out, you be staring like a sightseer. I will not call her Baby, I'm not like Bieber I don't ever give an F like a nice teacher Fuck it, I'm just keeping it 100 like a high fever So my final thoughts on the Air Jordan Blacksmith 3 for the 2018 release I really think they did a really good job on these The paint seems to be a little bit better So last time if you did own a pair you'd notice these would just crack in a matter of no time Paint seems a little bit better, the overall quality seems a lot better so I'm really happy I picked these up. Definitely not going to be thrashing these or selling them for $100. We'll be looking after this pair because who knows, it might be another 17 years before we get Nike Air on the back. So I'm either going to have to double up on these ones or I'm just going to have to look after them and make sure they last the test time. And that's my review on the Air Jordan Blacksmith 3. If you guys like what you saw, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe as well. We're going to be doing big things with this channel in the upcoming months. So thanks for stopping by guys. Until next time, I'm out. Stay fresh. Peace.